Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to master the speed ramp synced with music beats in After Effects. Let's check this video with music. So, let's begin mastering it. Select your music layer and press L button twice, this will open up the music beat drops. To sync video easy with beat drops, we can add markers to every beat. This is our first beat, I will add marker here so I will know where to cut the video. The second beat was here, I'll set the marker here too. Now you know how to see beat drops in AE. I will skip this part and let's make speed ramps now. Select your first clip, right click on it go to time and enable time remapping. At the very beginning of the clip, move the time to, from where you want to start the speed ramp. Then go to the first beat drop and move the time forward to the moment, where you want speed ramp to end. Cut to the, the video what's after the keyframe. Now select both keyframes, and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease and make motion better. Now go to graph editor and let's make a speed ramp more smoother. Once you are there, right click on a timeline and click on auto select graph type. Make timeline large a bit so you can see the curve. Press on this point, and move the yellow point up like this, then move the second point down, like in the video. At this point, video goes fast then slows down and goes fast again. Make sure to enable frame blending to the layer, click on this icon until you see an arrow. Close graph editor, and let's check our first video. Amazing. Now let's do the same to the rest of the videos. I will skip that part, do everything the same and let's skip to speed ramping in reverse. That's how it looks like with simple speed ramping. Let's make a speed ramp in reverse. I will duplicate the first clip just to show you how it is done. Then we can add smooth spice to our videos. You will need to do the same speed ramping process to your video, but this time, you will need to create three keyframes. Press U on your keyboard to see created keyframes. As you create two keyframes at the start and at the end of the video, move the second keyframe to the middle of the video, then copy the first keyframe and paste to the end of the video. Select all of the keyframes press F9 and go to graph editor, this time we will make new curve. Hold shift button on your keyboard and move left points to the left side and move the right points to the right side. Speed ramp in reverse is ready. Now let's sync it to the beat. Select the layer and press U on your keyboard to see keyframes. Select all three keyframes, press and hold ALT button and move the last keyframe to the point where the beat drops. Remove the clip what's after keyframe. Let's check what we have edited. Awesome, let's now add motion blur to our clips. Add CC force motion blur, set motion blur value to 10. Copy CC Force Motion Blur and paste to the rest of your clips. Amazing! Bonus tip for you, add Stabilize Motion Effect to your videos. If you have noticed, this Porsche footage is not stable. I will add Stabilize Motion Track to it. First of all, right click on that layer. Click on Pre-Compose. Make sure to select Move All Attributes into the new composition. And also check the box to Adjust Composition Duration and click on OK. Now go to Window and make sure to Enable Tracker. Then go to Tracker tab and click on Stabilize Motion. Find the best contrasted spot in your clip and move the box there. Make the big one bigger. The bigger the box the best will be the results. You have to options to analyze the clip, auto analyze and manual. I prefer and suggest you to make it manually. Auto analyze sometimes not working well. Once you start analyzing it manually, make sure that the box should stay at that point till the end. As you finish tracking, click on edit target and press on OK. Then press on apply and make sure that apply dimensions are set to X and Y. Then press OK. Your clip is now tracked to the center. But there is a problem with black edges. You can fix it in two ways. First solution is adding an effect motion tile to the layer. Check the mirror edges box and set output width and output height values to 200. This will create a mirror-like effect. Let's try the second solution. Press S on your keyboard and scale the video. Then press on P to change the position. 
Change scale and position until black edges are gone. It's up to you which solution you will use. If you shoot videos in 4K scaling is not a big problem I guess. Let's compare before and after stabilize motion. That's better now. This was the mastering of speed ramps. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.